All right, everyone, we are about to draft a one-day, three-film Ridley Scott film festival, right? So here's the rules. We're going to do it draft style. I'll pick. Alex will pick that. If someone's picked the movie, we can't replicate it. So here we go. And also, we want you guys to weigh in who you whose festival you'd like to attend. And in the comments, tell us which three Ridley Scott movies you would program. So here we go. First pick. I have to do it. I'd be a, a remiss if I didn't pick what I would say is one of the greatest films ever made. My personal favorite Ridley Scott movie. I got to go Alien. Nice. I think this yeah, was good. He has a lot of great movies. But for me, I just I got to start with Alien. I get it. I just saw it. it's the 45th anniversary screen. It was last night. I saw it last night in the theater. Wow. That's a big screen movie. Right it is. There. It is. That's the it thing is, about Ridley it, Scott. He makes fucking big screen movies. Old school it is big legit. screen movies. Yeah. Okay. So here we go, Alex. Your first pick. In the spirit of that, I also have to pick one of the all time greatest Blade Runner. Like, damn it. Okay. So it I is like Blade one of those Runner. things you see in the theater. Like, damn, it's huge. All right. So I'm going to give you a lane here. Because I'm going, Ridley Scott made a movie that is super important to me that I don't know that everyone uh, loves as much as me. It's G.I. Jane. I get it. It's cool. Similar. <laughs> I'm taking G.I. Cruise, and I'm going Legend. Nice. Okay. G.I. Baby Cruise. I think Legend is one of the most beautiful fantasy films ever made. You've got Tim Curry as the Prince of Darkness, which is like on my Mount Rushmore of favorite villains of all time. I love that that Tim Curry performance. I love Legend. I love Meg Mucklebones. I'm going legend, so I'm going sci-fi to fantasy. So in my festival, I've left some room for the wild card ending. Nice. No, so I, what do you I got for number that. two? I'm for number two. I'm. I think the theme I'm forming here is a person against the world, and so I think okay. I'm going to go for my number two with Gladiator, which is one of the like just one, one of, of the actually great movies. for my like movie going experiences. One of the big movie going experiences because it was the first time. And this is a weird thing. First time I went into a movie theater and the movie fucked up and we got our money back. <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> it's not like and then the we, great journey of cinema. The refund is what. And then we, and then we went back and saw it again. I was like, holy shit, that movie was awesome. I'm so glad we got our one money back. One and a half times first Gladiator, so good. Um, okay, so, so that good. was one I wanted. I thought that would tie together nice with my theme here. I'm gonna go with another fantasy: women being able to be happy and free in America, man. That's the fantasy that we were given for but a window, and we saw how reality crashes in like a car off a cliff. I'm going Thelma and Louise, number three. Nice. Fucking love, love Thelma and Louise. Let those women be free, young Brad Pitt. <laughs> Let them women be free. <laughs> All right, what do you got for number three? We've we got a lot of good shit on the board. We're doing three so. or five here. We're, we're doing, doing three. If you take Prometheus, three. the pod is over. We'll never talk again. <laughs> no, there's... There's no there's there's no suitable programming for Prometheus unless you're just doing movies that absolutely never met expectations. No, that's, <laughs> what, that's what we're doing. Um, I'm actually gonna go uh, small here with my man against the world because I, I do I, I really do like this movie. I actually think it's one of the great underrated casts. Matchstick Men with Nicolas Cage. Okay, I do like I, Matchstick Men a lot. I really I like it's you... na it's it's Nicolas Cage and Sam Rockwell, but you know it is like one of those. And I also have my own little OCD issues, so it was fun to see that. I, the one I that just I, I really like that movie. What was the one you almost did three? Because mine was going to be Hannibal. Um, number three was almost. <laughs> this is weird to say, but I think I've watched it enough where I was like, oh, that's it's a baby, it's a fun it's a fun movie. Um. Was almost American Gangster. All right. Why. Well, essentially, we just drafted four. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like, but that's our three film film festival, guys. Tell us what you think. Which festival would you most likely attend? And in the comments, make sure, and also share this shit around, right? Also, make sure that you tell us which three Ridley Scott films you would program as your film festival.